Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. A friend of mine asked me a couple of weeks ago about that Waltham pocket watch that I actually featured on one of the episodes. Well, it got me thinking, maybe we should talk about that kind of thing. Let's talk about researching relics and collectibles of the Old West. Let's investigate. If you are an aficionado of any period in history, you probably have some collectibles. If not, you will have at one point. I can't describe how exciting it is to hold a piece of history from the era you are passionate about. The really cool thing about having a collectible is that it kind of makes you a curator. I know, right? When I handle relics, I'm hoping to glean a modicum of information about the previous owner. Where were they when they got it? How did they feel when they first held it? Who in the heck were they? Well, with careful research, you can find out some of this information. Items like watches and guns have serial numbers. If the company's records are still intact, you can find out who bought it and when. This is particularly helpful for provenance, which essentially means a record of ownership, otherwise known as proof, baby. Coins are harder to pinpoint, but you can find out where they were minted and when. The thing about coins that fascinates me is that the person who dropped that silver dollar was probably really upset he lost it. In some frontier careers, that was a day's wage. Sure, you can pay collector's prices for items if that's what you want to do. You can also acquire relics typically dug from homesteads or town sites. These are fun because you may have to research what the heck it is. A bottle may have some embossing on it that tells you the manufacturer of the product. Those are easy. But a broken bottle with a partial embossing? <laughs> now you gotta put on your thinking cap. Internet research can find you many answers to the mystery of your collectible piece, but sometimes the really rare stuff requires a trip to a professional. Head to your local history museum. They have some great resources that will help you. They also have a passion for history, so you'll be in good company. What are you doing? I'm researching money. I'm hungry. Let's go. Historical document I'm researching. It's money. For okay, yeah, people. whatever. Um, Look, man, Domino's is running a, like a thing. It's like two for one. Yeah. Yeah, I got me all hungry. Let's, uh, so. Yeah, Domino's, yeah, I get it. Uh, just give me a couple of minutes here. Pepperoni, I'm almost serious. I think this is like, it says 1879. Yeah, I, no. It's, I gotta Thin do this. crust. Batch, I, I gotta do this. Just give me a second, all right? This is important. Oh, come on, what is this stuff? Let's go, man. What are you? <laughs> I didn't know he could fetch. Yeah, me neither. Huh. Oh. I'm huh. sorry about your collectible money there. Yeah, that's all right. I'll get some more. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see, see you on down the trail. Why do you <laughs> always do that? Gotcha. <laughs>